Okay, I'm gonna show a little bit of uh, the process of how I built this stall door. This is just the way I'm doing it. You could do it a, a bunch of different ways, um, but this is just the way that worked out for us the best, and I think for us looks the best. So I cut a piece of uh, quarter inch plywood at, so you can see it there, uh, 50 and a half inches wide, 46 inches tall, and that is going to go on the back, basically on the horse's side. And that was really just to make the door thick enough to fit into the metal frame, because the metal frame, it has to be an inch and a half thick. I used one by six tongue and groove pine, and then I used a one by three, uh, it's kind of a decorative pine. I think it's a baseboard actually, um, but it's just a, a one by three piece of pine. It's got kind of a smooth, nice finish on it. I'm gonna basically make a frame a square frame that goes all the way around the outside of the door of the one by threes and then the X pattern. And I'm gonna use pocket screws to put all that together. This uh, jig right here. This is the part you set down on the wood like that. And then it came with a, a drill bit that has a adjustable depth gauge right there. You set that to how deep um, you need to go depending on how thick the material that you're drilling through is. I found that if you hang it off a little bit, it puts it a little closer so that your screws don't go through and come out the front, come out the front side of your board. So they say to clamp this down with a clamp and all that, but if you push down good pressure right here and are just kind of careful, it's a lot quicker and easier just don't take your thumb off. I'm going to put the tongue and groove boards all together, screw the screw everything together so that it makes one solid panel, and then slide it into the metal framework. That's what the other side looks like, minus the minus the cross braces. I'm a little short on materials as usual, so I ran out of uh, I ran out of the one by three pine. I just have I'm just bad at buying enough stuff, I guess. So <laughs> so I gotta make another trip to get that. But I'm gonna get the rest of the door uh, put together so I can get it hung, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'm by no means a professional barn builder. Just a uh... oh, he's doing some rubbing on my trim. I just did. Okay, so we're gonna change the archway a little bit on this one. I added the extra board. So this is upside down right now. Basically I have three tongue and groove boards, one I cut an arch in. I just slid this side into the metal channel that comes with the stall front kit. And then I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna put some screws in there. Then I'll flip it over and drop the lower portion in and screw that in and it'll be almost ready to hang. Okay, so got the uh, metal frame all screwed on. You put a piece of two by two in here uh, to fill this, the gap between the metal frame and the top and the bottom. Okay, so now I'm putting the hardware on. Uh, first thing you have to do is measure down 10 inches from the edge of the door and drill about a three quarter inch hole so that when you put the hardware on, the bolt can go into the actual into the actual door itself. So I just got a paddle bit and I'm just gonna line it up and just do the best I can to not pop out the front of the door. <laughs> Try to keep it as straight as I can. Okay, so this is the hardware that comes with the kit and basically what you'll do is you'll put the bolt, nut and bolt through like this. The reason why we had to drill the hole was because this is gonna stick down inside of there. That gives you your adjustment. Um, so you Dad, take this. Dad, what else do you need? This, sandwich this together. Dad, look what else. Oh, thank you. Kind of like that. Dad, look what else is behind you. Oh, thanks, buddy. I needed that. And you can put it on there. 
Make sure it's kind of straight. The first one I did was pretty crooked. Mark your holes. And then just drill through and it comes with the carriage bolts and everything that you need to bolt it down. Here's the, here's the finished, finished look. So that's the door I just built that doesn't have the X yet. Um, got the, all the latches and everything on. Put some handles on so it's nice and easy to slide. So just lift up, pull it open, and slides in and out. Those are a little, a little stiff, but I think they'll loosen up. And then there's kind of a, Here's what they look like. So they'll both have X's eventually. But I changed both doors and the last thing I'm gonna do is put a piece of metal to cover this raw edge right here uh, that'll line up at the same height as this and it'll go all the way across the all the way across the door. And then with the leftover pieces that we had, because we didn't use the we didn't use the bars in between here, we're gonna do a center divider. So I'm gonna write, I'll raise that up a little bit and I should have enough material to do this style um, divider like that at the top section so should look pretty cool if you have any questions leave them in the comments like i said i'm not a pro builder or barn builder uh, by any means but um, hopefully this helps somebody if you're putting some stalls together thanks for watching